got a dent in it, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. one of those. Thanks a lot. And put a squiggle just there.
Just kidding. I'm actually very excited about these hubs. Fresh from Switzerland, Switzerland these are the Schlumpf Innovation Disc Ready Unicycle Hubs. And they're spectacular. I've already opened one, but this time I can actually talk, talk you all through it and share exactly how excited I am to find this and what a pleasure, an absolute pleasure, this box is to open. And I know because I've just opened one already, but it's exactly the same. So let's open this one. And it says top, so we open it from the top. I have, I ordered these back early March 2022 and I have been waiting like a cat on hot bricks, wondering when, if ever, they would ever turn up. But now, having waited for them, I would gladly have waited two years for the quality that lies within this cardboard magic. It is next level enjoyment. This is beyond, yeah, it's, I'm not even riding the thing and I'm happy as hell. This is an incredible piece of engineering and I'm already, I just can't believe how, how good this is. So let's open it up and talk you through what I've got here and so you can understand it. Yep, piece of cardboard. Then you do get a schlumpf hat, as you can see. This hat, prize joy. I'll cut a hole in this so I can get my bum poking through it. There we go, we've got a hat. I'll put that there for the moment. Now this one, oh look, this one's gone a bit wonky, this one. But the hub itself is housed neatly inside this wonderful foam packaging. And I have to say, even that is just miraculous, the way it sits inside there the weight on this. Now I know you shouldn't really care in some ways about the weight or you don't like it for, for wheels, but this feels so well engineered. I have never, trust me, anyone ordering this, when you pick this up for the first time, you will realize that this is of a magnitude advanced engineering compared to what you might imagine it. I think I'd seen renders of this, I'd pictured it, I'd imagined what it would be like. It's, it's just not, not the same, basically, to handling it in real life. And so my previous hub is 1299, and this is 1240. So this is the slightly younger one, but they're all brand new. And what do we have? Well, we've got very different bearings to what I'm used to from my other very old hub. This is smooth as silk. The way these flanges are engineered there's there's chamfering for each alternate alternating spokes you can see that there's the oil inlet on the on the actual body itself up here on an angle and then you've got these bolts all the way around here which are for basically this is where you'll bolt the disc onto but it's got special indentations that allow for it to lock in exactly the right location as well and it is again i have to say next level. When I look at the machining around here, I'm getting reminisce I'm getting vibes of Hope, Hope Tech with the way they engineer their calipers on brakes. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. And bless Florian, because I've got the uh, Flansbarium frames that were drilled for eight mil holes there, he created a one millimeter shim, which he's stuck on top of there so that they will fit those frames. But out of the box, you will be getting a six millimeter little bolt thing and that is to lock inside the frame and to stop the torque reaction from turning and there's even a jig we'll get to it on how to drill frames that don't have that hole so for me i have a shim because those frames were drilled to eight mil but that's not going to be a problem to anyone who hasn't drilled them or got a dedicated kh frame for it it is a work of art absolute work of art i'm going to put that down and we'll get on to the rest of it. Yeah. Then you get very neatly presented the tool, the button key, and I ordered spare buttons just in case. So you get spare, spare shifting buttons. I'll take them out, have a little look at them. Again, even these, when you pick these up, it's like you know, quite frankly, I'd turn these into earrings if I wanted to wear earrings. These are just like, these are next level quality stuff. Actually, I wonder if I should do that. <laughs> Nose piercing, anyone? <laughs> They're just so heavy, it's incredible. Like that is shiny, shiny, delicious stuff. Very nice, 
Very nice indeed. Absolutely next level. I'm going to keep saying next level, and it sounds like I'm doing something like that. This is the bag of goodies, and what do we have here? As this is, this is me guessing what we've got here, um, because I don't know for sure. I haven't got a manual yet. That's going to come in an email, I think. Um, I'm presuming that is something to tighten. What do you think that is? I am not quite sure what that is, really, if I'm honest, um, because that that looks like an axle bolt. But anyway, this will be. This will be for some reason that we've got it. I don't know why why it doesn't match up to this, but it's an eight eight mil hex. Maybe that's maybe that's what the bolts are like that in, in there. Well, I have to take one out. That's that's bigger than this. Maybe that's a spare. I don't know. Or that's a pre pre torque bolt. Then you get these two screw screw uh, drill bits, and this little thing is clearly uh, to center the point at which you drill into the frame. If your frame doesn't have this uh, hole for this thing to stop the torque reaction. So that's your jig, effectively, and a very simple jig. I was always wondering how Florian was going to do this, because I thought, is he going to make a really complicated jig? Poor chap, he's going to have to make so many of them. But actually this this little thing is dead, dead, dead simple, really. Well, it looks, I don't know how difficult it is to make, but it looks nice and simple. Then you get your cheeky tube of grease. And then you get this foam, even this foam, I, you know, I'm going to decorate the wall with that, you know, put nifty things in it. Don't you think? Maybe a cardboard hub decorated in the wall behind glass or something. Anyway, enough prattling. And I was advised in the bottom of the box there is something, so you lift the last piece out because that is where your rotors are. And I got a spare rotor, that's why there's two, you don't get two if you only ordered the hub. But this is a 180 rotor. Look at that. Look at that. That is incredible. I have to say, when I picked this up, I don't think I imagined it to be as this, this nice. Um, it just doesn't feel like any rotor I've picked up for a, a bicycle or a, a standard unicycle. It's incredible. And obviously, <coughs> this rotor, I won't be able to take the bolts off, but it goes on like that with those bolts off, then you tighten it in. And hey, presto pass, you've got yourself a disc brake on a schlump hub. Did we ever think we'd see the day? And it's absolutely beautifully engineered. And I can see that there's that that's just so well engineered. Not only is it being supported by these screws, but it's actually baked into these little notches. They tally with these bits here. Look at that. That is sheer genius. Uh, so you get, yeah, you get that. Let's put that one there. I wish I'd kept the, the other, the other one is 203 rotor, the much bigger looking. That does look quite small, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know why, it looks like a 160, really. But, is it one? Yeah, no, matching it up to this wheel. I say, yeah, it's 180. That's 180. So, 180. And there's the other rotor. I don't know what this is. Well, obviously I know it's steel, but it's... Boy, does it look high quality. Very, very high quality. You're not going to wear these out. You have to ride, like, down hills every single day, I think. Yeah, pretty nice. And you get a free piece of Swiss newspaper. Um, yeah, I think... It, yeah, look at that. So that's nice as well. Um, I'm going to put that back together, but let's see what else I can just show you on this while we're at it. Um, obviously, I've never experienced a hub brand new until today. Um, these are, this is a really old one here. This is the Cotillis. Must be 15 years old, this one. This one's a 200 series. None of them have the, the, the this little crank stop thing here. None of them have that. So I'm used, I'm not used to seeing that. And I've never even taken one of these things apart, really. So I, I would have to see what that's all about. Um, but let's shift it into gear. Oh, it, it is in high gear. Okay. So let's shift it into low gear, first of all. And I'm going to hold this, and we're going to see it spin. Yeah, it's spinning round like a normal schlumpf hub should. 
and then we're going to switch it into high gear come on click and yeah that's faster isn't it it's very hard to tell actually without seeing a wheel but yeah that's that's doing more than i'm doing very nice look at that and that's smooth as silk i have to say yeah it's edible it's genuinely edible this is like a delightful delightful piece of swiss swiss chocolate um well there it is it's in real life it's magical it's beautiful it's a schlump it's a swiss made disc compatible inboard disc compatible schlump and yeah it's going to actually reside maybe i can even show you well i don't have the allen keys for that i could do that later but it's going to reside in one of these frames and um yeah we'll, we'll have a disc inside the frame which is great because all the braking force is on the hub body rather than going through the crank interface okay that's what that is that's for tightening that up so you preset it with this i think and then you tighten it with this that makes sense so this is the thing to get it on the crank at the right torque and then this is the thing to tighten up these bolts these axle bolts but that's a whole another kettle of fish in terms of getting this wheel built up one of these is going to be a 29er and the other hub is going to be a 24 so it's two different size wheels quite significantly different in terms of what they're going to offer they're going to be quite interesting things to ride um, I'm going to be wearing this hat until it perishes and basically that's it I'm I'm a little bit over the moon for this. I've been waiting for such a long time to see these actually arrive. And I'm so very grateful to Florian and all those at Schlumpf Innovations for engineering something that even before riding gives enormous, enormous pleasure. So thank you. Peace out. So...